Hi, this is my screencast and a lot of people ask me that they want to be a programmer and what it takes to be a programmer. So I would uh, essentially go over some of the things that I think <coughs> a good programmer uh, knows about. So there are many uh, fields of programming. Uh, one of the fields is embedded. And this is pretty much everything you see uh, around you. If you look, thermostats, automobiles, uh, jet engines, rockets, guns, pretty much everything that you see might have some kind of embedded programming uh, in it. And a lot of this programming is essentially done in uh, C and C++. The next programming that you would typically end up seeing is the Windows desktop programming. And I would just simply call it Windows app. Most of the time this is done in C sharp. Uh, then uh, in the modern times, uh, most people uh, know about iPhone, iPad, and the Macs. Uh, the programming in for these is usually done in Objective-C. Linux, not many people are familiar with Linux, but it is used in the cloud quite a bit. And uh, the programming in, for that is usually done in C, C, C++, and Java. Uh, web browser, pretty much everybody knows about uh, web browsers. The programming uh, for that is pretty much uh, in JavaScript, HTML5, and CSS. Cloud is, uh, most people know about cloud, is uh, where uh, pretty much all of the processing happens, where the websites are served, and all that kind of information. Uh, programming for that is actually quite diverse. It depends on the platform that is used in the cloud, but I would give you some examples. So if it is a Windows platform, it is probably done in C Sharp. If it is a Linux pro platform, it's probably done in Java. It could also be done in PHP, uh, Ruby, Python, and uh, in some of the newer languages such as Golang and so on. Scripting is uh, another thing that most programmers have to encounter and this is also quite platform uh, specific. If you are doing Linux, it's probably in bash scripting. If you are in the Windows world, it's probably a DOS command and so on. Complex modeling is usually required for systems which are very complex. Uh, it could be a communication system. Uh, such as a cell phone communication system or uh, it could be anything uh, that is very complex and requires uh, a lot of people that are involved in doing it and uh, complex modeling is done in a language uh, pretty much uh, which is called UML. Uh, I would also uh, talk about a little bit about uh, relational databases. Uh, they are pretty popular and they are used pretty much uh, by all websites and uh, the programming for that is usually done in a language called SQL, Structured SQL uh, Programming Language. Uh, there is another uh, platform that is uh, a mobile platform that is very common is the Android from Google. The programming for that is done in Java. And uh, most of the programming that we have talked about here is uh, like a traditional programming, which is essentially sequential programming, where you do things in sequence. Or uh, uh, there is a new breed of programming. It's not that new, but it is becoming more mainstream. It's called parallel programming, uh, where uh, to speed things up, you might end up doing things uh, in parallel. And uh, this is also quite platform uh, specific, but most of the mainstream programming languages, C, C++, Java, and C Sharp, and newer languages such as Golang uh, would support parallel programming constructs. So as you can see that an inspiring programmer uh, has a lot to explore. 
uh, you can uh, learn a lot of different things and it's uh, really the sky is the limit so if you want to learn more uh, please visit uh, God Associates uh, to know about more of these technologies and thank you for taking the time to listen to this short video